And as of tonight, face masks are a requirement in Little Rock, the results of an executive order signed by Mayor Frank Scott Jr. While the government, or excuse me, the governor was largely against the idea last week, Claire Kreitz has learned a lot of beliefs have changed in the past 24 hours. Day one of the city of Little Rock requiring masks while out in public, and it's hard to find someone without their face covered. I fully support that, and it is consistent with the state guidelines on wearing masks. Governor Asa Hutchinson giving his stamp of approval, but how do the people feel that have to follow it? I was expecting it. Bethany Siemens was on her way to do a little shopping, mask already on, and says she's on board. It doesn't bother me to wear masks, so in public especially. It's not a lot to ask to keep people safe. From big box stores to small boutiques, Bell and Blush in the Promenade was one step ahead of the city. We were already asking everyone to wear a mask whenever they came into the, into the store to shop. Makeup artist Brandon Golden points out their stand in the front of their store for people who may forget their face covering. The more we can do, the better off we are. He says it's a small price to pay to avoid closing their doors again as cases start to spike. And drop those numbers and all it takes is a little bit of an inconvenience of wearing a mask. I'm here for it. But not everyone feels the same way. I kind of think it's just another thing to add to our to-do list. Covington Crane says she understands the reasons behind the order, but doesn't like wearing a mask. It just gets in the way of things. I can't really breathe in them. Her biggest complaint? Well, there's a thing called macne, and every line that you get, like, that the mask touches, you, like, produce pimples. But those who support the new order say that's a small price to pay to stay healthy. It's less uncomfortable than a ventilator.